What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's vlog, we're gonna go ahead and tune my hatchback. Um, we're kind of on a time crunch here because Derek needs me there at 9.30 and I got a new muffler for the hatch. Um, it's like a, it's a Blox N1 muffler. Um, I wanted the car to be just a little bit louder and so I'm hoping that this will do it. Um, but I'm waiting for UPS to show up and drop it off. And then, uh, so today's Friday, I just got off of work, it's five o'clock and uh no muffler shop is open to do that job for me so tomorrow morning i'm gonna head out to ralph's muffler out in uh, san Bernardino and have them do it uh so they said show up first thing eight in the morning and they can probably schedule me in so that's gonna be the race against time is that um but i just want to show you guys a quick sound clip of how the car sounds right now uh it is currently running right now just letting it warm up but uh let me set the gopro down and then I'll, I'll give you guys a quick sound clip of what it sounds like now. And then I'm gonna take off this axle back and uh, rev it like that. And then that way we have clips of the current muffler setup without a muffler and then with the new muffler setup. I'm pretty stoked. I hope it sounds good with the new N1 muffler, but uh, I guess, you know, we'll see. So that was with the current muffler setup. So I'm gonna remove it since it'll be easier when I go to the muffler shop. And uh, that way they don't have to remove it and that saves me time. And they could just mock up the new uh, N1 tip and then uh, that'll be it. So in typical fashion, um, you know, having small issues, but uh, Derek changed out, Derek and Isaac changed out the ignition switch. Um, so now there's no more ignition switch issues, which, you know, huge shout out to them for doing that. Uh, man, it's kind of nerve wracking, but uh, we're almost ready to, I guess, do some pulls. So we'll see. So Derek just did a baseline pull and uh, it made 340 horsepower to the wheels. That's already 10 more horsepower than it was before. And this is on 91. And there goes the throttle body sticking.
349 on the second pole, 91. So that was 350 on 91. And now we're gonna drain the 91 and put some E85 in. And uh, just gotta get this jerry can and uh, drain it. So now we've got E85 in here. scary when it does pulls. So like I was saying, the uh, the throttle body is getting stuck and you know it's gotten real, real bad. But I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Matt again. You know, he had an extra throttle body laying around. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this and then uh, we'll see if we can get to cruising. Um, but once I swap this over, you know, I can go ahead and uh, do some pulls for you guys and uh, you know, we'll really see where the card feels like but uh yeah let me swap this over real quick all right so i've got the new throttle body on and uh, we're just gonna go out for some driving i just want to see the drivability with this throttle body um it is a little bit different than the other one the spring feels much stronger so i kind of got to give it a little bit more throttle or a push down on the throttle a little bit more to get it going uh, but it, you know i'll get used to it but uh yeah let's just go out and see what the drivability is like and then you know i'll do a couple pulls and uh yeah you know it should be should be fun so i like that so far you know it feels regular you know i've been having a throttle body that's been sticking for a while uh, so it kind of feels weird for this thing just to kind of pull back on its own and feel normal
one that I bought brand new for blocks. You know, I thought it would work better. Unfortunately, it didn't. But uh, this is another block throttle body, but this is a billet one. And, uh, you know, it seems to be good so far. So we'll do a couple a couple pulls right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's up.
to give a huge shout out to Derek and Isaac over at DT on the Motive um, or DT Tuned on Instagram. And these guys have always, always, always go above and beyond for me. You know, huge shout out to my boy Raul. Huge shout out to SB Machine Shop for the work on the head. Uh, my boy Chris over at Main Engine Stands. He hooked me up with the injectors. You know, they're the FIC 1000cc injectors. Um, those things are awesome right off the bat. I thought I had an issue with them, but it was just like the uh, adapter harness that came with them. So I got a new one thanks to Omar. You know, huge shout out to OG Works too. Just thank you to everybody that's been a part of this build, man. Shout out to, to my boy Matthew. Shout out, shout out to Billy. You know, it's just, it's a lot of hands that went into this, and I really can't take all the credit for uh, for the build. But uh, I'm driving out this way. I want to show you guys a two-step. This thing sounds so sick. So uh, my GoPro died when I was at the spot trying to take a picture. So I'm here at home now because I came home to charge the GoPro. So I guess I'll just uh, film the two-step here at home real quick. But uh, dude, I sold my wheels. I sold my wheels to my boy Jesse Loke. These are originally his wheels. So I got to pull these off, take them to the shop, take the tires off because he's gonna, you know, pick them up. But uh, yeah, so the new wheel setup should be here pretty soon. But yeah, let, let, let me show you guys this two-step. This thing sounds so sick so sick i like it with the new exhaust setup so let me set the gopro down and film this real quick i really like these kind of hats but anyways there you go the car is tuned made 390 wheel horsepower on nine pounds of boost on e85 and it made 350 on nine pounds of boost on 91 octane <sighs> i'm so freaking happy the car is finally tuned and now i can just focus on like the little things you know i gotta add my boost gauges uh, i gotta add you know all the other little gauges that i got too um can clean things up finally and just really really dial the car in so i'm super happy and excited that the car is finally all tuned and running and just feels just awesome you know uh, definitely worth the weight and all the hard work um, like I said this wouldn't be possible without the help with uh, you know everybody that was involved with the car and the support from you guys uh, so with that being said I appreciate the support as always remember to like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace